Hello and welcome back to SQL 101. My name is Matt Tanner, and if you've been following along, you'll know that so far in the series, we've covered how to use select statements and then how to dial in where clauses. In today's lesson, we're gonna take our queries a step further and learn how to sort the data using the order by clause. Being able to sort the data is key when you want your results in a specific order, such as alphabetically, by date, or based on numerical data. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use the order by clause to sort your data in ascending or descending order. And with the agenda set, let's get started. Now, if you've been following along from our other videos in this series, you'll be familiar with the data set that we're using. Now, I'm also going to include a GitHub link here, which is going to link you to the specific data that we need. However, if you're new to SQL, I highly suggest that you go through episodes one and two and then begin this lesson. So to continue from where we left off, we'll come back into single store, back into data studio, then we'll click open SQL editor and you'll see the last statement that we ran in the previous video, which was episode two on where clauses. As mentioned in the intro, in this specific tutorial, we're going to be covering the order by clause. And this is roughly what the anatomy of that looks like. So here we have select column one, column two, n column from table name. And here is what we're mainly focusing on, which is the order by column one, and then you can supply whether that column should be ordered in ascending order or descending order. Now, the order by clause allows you to sort the results of your query based on one or more columns. So by default, order by sorts the data in ascending order. So from smallest to largest or A to Z. If you want to reverse that and sort in descending order, so largest to smallest or Z to A, you can add the descending keyword. And that's exactly what we've got denoted here. Now let's look at a couple of examples so we can see how this works in practice. Let's start with a simple example of sorting employees by their last name in alphabetical order. For that, our query is going to look like this. We have select first name, last name, salary from employees. So revisiting the select statement that we covered in episode one. And then we have order by last name. Now what happens when we run this? Here we can see our results. Here we're telling the database to return all employees, but sort them by last name. And that's exactly what's showing up in the result here. We can see last name from B to T. Now if we wanted to see the reverse, so Z to A, you can add the descending keyword or DESC keyword just like this. Now if I run this, you'll see the reverse. Here we go now from Taylor to Brown. This sorts the last names in descending order. So you'll see the name starting with Z at the top and A at the bottom. And sorting by numbers is actually just as easy. So let's sort employees by their salary from lowest to highest. That query is going to look like this, where we have order by salary. Now, if I highlight this and run it, we can now see that salary is sorted. So 65 being Jane Smith's at the bottom and David Brown being at the top here with 95,000. But maybe we're more interested in who earns the most. And in that case, we can just add the descending keyword here, which will then put our highest paid people at the top. Now you'll see the employees with the highest salaries at the top of the list. And doing this is just as simple as flipping out the ascending and descending keyword. Next, let's take a look at sorting by multiple columns. So you can also sort by multiple columns at once in a query. For example, let's say we want to sort employees first by department and then by salary within each department. Here's how we would do that. In this case, you can see that employees are gonna be sorted first by department ID, which will be ascending by default, then by salary within each of those departments. And you can see we've added the descending keyword here. Now let's look at what happens when we run this. Here, we can see that we have stuff grouped by department. So obviously engineering here being the largest department. And in engineering, we can see that the highest paid person is David and the lowest paid person in that department is John. So this is really useful when you're working with grouped data and need more fine-tuned control over how it's displayed 
in the result. Finally, let's take a look at how to sort by date. Let's say you want to see which employees were hired most recently. Here's how you'd sort the results by hired date in descending order. In this query, you can see here we have order by hire date descending. If I run this, we can see that at the top of the list is a 2023 hire date, and at the bottom of the list is the 2019 hire date, which is David Brown. So the most recently hired employees are going to be at the top of this result. We could also sort this the other way, showing the employees who have been with the company longest by using the ascending keyword, just like this. Now we can see David Brown is at the top of the list as he has been at the company longest and Emily Davis is at the bottom of the list since she is the most recent hire. And that wraps up our lesson on using the order by clause in your select statements. Now you know how to control the order of the data that gets returned in your query results, whether it be alphabetically, numerically, or by date. In the next video, we're going to learn how to use the distinct keyword to make sure that we can take out duplicate results from our results set. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any lessons in our SQL 101 series. Once again, thank you for watching and happy querying.